So here is an ideal situation. There are two useless networks, Shaker and Wireless, and then one good network, Isaac, due to its signal strength. Now the only problem with Isaac is that it's a security-enabled wireless network. You have to type in a password. Now I'm going to show you how to hack it and get around it. And the first thing you have to do is connect to a network, as I'm showing here. You need internet access to download a program. Okay, so now we're connected to internet. Now you're going to double-click Firefox, or any internet browser, it doesn't matter. And point your browser to www.wep.notlong.com. Now this will take you to some box.net account, where you can download awcrack.rar. And I need a card that's compatible with ComView for Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to show you the compatible card list. You need one of the 802.11 BG or ABG adapters, so shown here. All, all of these adapters will work. Notice how Aethros is the most supported, as almost all their chipsets are supported. So pretty much you're safe with the Aethros card. The card I'll be using today is the Netgear WAG511. So if you want to use that card, it's it's a good one, and you already know it works now. Okay, now open up um, AW Crack and extract only AW Setup Beta 1. Ignore the GUI folder. Double click on it. And now it should start the install process. Just click next on everything. Okay, finish the install, close that and then many things. Now I'm going to show you how to install the driver. Go to start, right click on my computer and go properties. Then go to the hardware tab and click device manager. Now this is a list of all the devices attached to your computer. Now this is the card we're using, so we right click on it, Netgear WAG 511. So we right click on it, click update driver. Go to no, not this time. Install from a specific location. Don't search, I will choose. Then click have disk. And you have to browse to your um, arrow wizard folder. Usually my computer. C, arrow wizard. And since I have an Aethros card, I go to Aethros driver. If you have another card, go to other. Then click OK. Next. And it should begin installing. Setting a system restore point, blah blah blah. And yes, you want to overwrite the new file. Okay, now that it's done, make sure that it's listed like that and doesn't have a yellow little exclamation point like the card under.